Eastern Carolina community has roots stretching back more than 160 years. News 12's Deja Mayfield explains how it came to be and what it means to the people who live there to this day. I watched the highway uh, extend. What's now a growing community bustling with construction and new developments. Things moved and changed so much in the 70s while I was away that when I came back, I used to wonder, well, how do I get back to James City? You know, what highway do I take? Was once a place of refuge for thousands of formerly enslaved people whose descendants still live here. You had all these people, contraband and slave, coming here. Not many people know the origins of James City, like Terrence Hicks, Myrtle Downing, Craig Allen, and William Hollowell. All members of the James City Historical Society working to uncover their roots and educating people on their community's history. Okay, and this was the Trent River Settlement. And the people of that camp thought so much of him that they named the camp after him. And that's where the name James came from. Craig Allen takes me through the birthplace of the community, now a neighborhood of luxury, some even million dollar homes that once housed thousands of blacks who were self-sufficient creating their own ways of living, their own schools, and even their own churches. But it was short-lived. After a court decision in 1891, it was determined that the residents of the Trent River settlement would never obtain title to their land, and the property was returned to its heirs. Many people left in large numbers, while some stayed and paid rent. For those who did leave, many of them resettled in what's known as the New James City, bringing their schools and churches with them. Mount Shiloh, my church, was once named Mount Shiloh First Baptist. And the name changed to what it is now, Mount Shiloh Missionary. Ms. Downing says her grandfather architectured the church. Then there's Pilgrim Chapel and Jones Chapel, churches birthed out of the original James City community that are still standing. Even the room we recorded this interview in, a piece of history, a restored slave quarters from the old Meadows Plantation that sits just steps away from Coastal Carolina Regional Airport. Even on the grounds of the airport itself, more than 500 graves lie beneath the surface, all found by ECU archaeologists in the 1970s, all graves of black people who were likely members of the original James City too. When you ride through here now and you see how they've built these big houses and how it's private property, Deja Mayfield with that story. The James City community was also a stop on what was known as the Chitlin Circuit, a collection of performance venues that brought big names to majority black communities during the Jim Crow era.